Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to take a look at the 2019 Roku Express. Uh, right now I'm going to do a little unbox of it, show you everything that comes with it, and then we will, about halfway through this video, plug it in the TV so you can see it in action. Now this is the standard Roku Express version you can buy pretty much everywhere. There is a Roku Express Plus, which is exclusive to Walmart. The difference between there is that the Roku Express Plus costs about $10 more, and it includes a point anywhere remote that you can um, wirelessly connect to your uh, Roku Express here without needing it to be a line of sight remote. So we're gonna take a, a look at this right now, do a quick unboxing, compare it to the 2018 model, and then in this same video, I'll connect it to our TV, show you it in action, give you a rough idea of how fast it is. Now, if you have a question about this, uh, leave me a comment, but if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it really does help us, because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we're doing. And if you wanna learn more about the, the 2019 Roku Express, I will put a link to it in the show notes to Amazon, where you can find a link to pre-order it, to test it out, or maybe get some technical specs, because we're gonna focus on the end user experience here. What's it like when I take this home? Because I can tell you right now, that the 2018 Roku Express and the 2019 Roku Express are the same specs. They have the same processing power, storage, and more. But how is it when I take it home, I plug it in? Is there any difference? Is there anything we need to know about? That's what we're gonna focus on here. Uh, Cause I, you know, specs only show you so much. It really comes down to what's it like when you get home and test it out. All right, so right here is the 2019 Roku Express. It is smaller but not dramatically um, so than the 2018 version. So this is the 2019 on the bottom and the 2018 on the top. And you can see it is smaller, but it more is just like they moved the uh, components around in it a little bit. It is very tiny. You know, this is my hand, so it's right there versus the 2018. So very tiny one. The big selling point to the 2019 is it requires less power. They say they've dramatically reduced the power requirements for this, making it work on, according to Roku, 90% of TVs is a USB port. So you can use the sticky pad here to attach it to the bottom side or top of your TV, and then use the USB cable that's been included here to plug that directly into your TV's USB port to power it. It does also come with an HDMI cable to connect it to your TV there. But if your TV for some reason doesn't power it, they still do offer a Roku plug. So you can plug that into your wall socket with a little USB port there to charge it. Next up is the remote here. A few things about Roku remotes. This is a line of sight one, so you do need to have it uh, pointed at your TV to use it. The Roku Express Plus, again, does the point anywhere wirelessly connected one. But these quick binds will change depending on where you buy it. For example, Voodoo would be on the remote if you bought this at Walmart. Um, the, and Roku often throughout the run of the devices will change out the program buttons. So I'll have to get emails like, hey Luke, I bought it because it said it only had Hulu as a quick launch bind. If yours when he gets it doesn't, just a warning, that's what happens. Roku changes these buttons often. But it doesn't, it does use the new improved Roku um, buttons here with the larger play pause button and back and forth. Just a lot nicer than the older one, which had a much smaller set of buttons here, which could have been in the dark harder to find. Uh, past that, a few notes here. It does have the um, USB power one, HDMI, and a tiny reset. Oh, there we go. Tiny little reset button there on the right, so you can uh, reset if it ever gets stuck, or you want to do a factory reset on it. Past that, the only other thing that's included is a stack menu. Honestly, uh, not really much difference in this um, past those two little things. So I'm gonna go test this out, plug it into the TV, and let you know what I think about it. I'll be right back um, to do that right now. Well, I've been playing around with the 2019 Roku Express for a bit now, been impressed. Now it's nowhere near as fast as the uh, 2019 Roku Ultra, for example, but for a $29 streaming player that does just HD, it's a pretty decent deal. Now, everything that I've had on my other Roku still works with this one. As you can see, I got tons of Roku channels installed here. Uh, everything from live TV services to on-demand ones are all included. So let's jump in here and take a look at Netflix first and do a quick little launch of this, give you an idea of what you could expect if you pick this up. 
Uh, let's jump into the office real quick, hit play. And as you can see, not as fast as the um, Roku Ultra, but that's pretty decent. Let's check out Sling TV. Live TV services are much more demanding, especially ones like Sling TV, YouTube, etc. You got not, it's not an on-demand poll that they're making, it's a live one as they do this. Let's just uh, quickly jump into this Pac-12 channel. I can't hang out here long, I don't want a copyright strike. But as you can see there, very quick getting into it. I just hit the home button. And then it's pretty decent getting back to the home screen here. Uh, we can do one more test here real quick and show you a system restart. So here is a um, reboot from scratch of the 2019 Roku Express being charged by this TV. So I just have a power cable going into the TV, not the wall outlet, which is something Roku says with this model, you can definitely do. So we'll see. Um, definitely, again, slower than the Roku Ultra, but you're not paying $100 for this, you're paying $29.99. So decent though, not bad. Uh, if you power it off your TV's USB port, you're gonna have to see this boot screen every time you plug it in, which may make you wanna go and get the version, or plug it directly into the wall, I should say, through the um, USB port uh, wall charger that comes supplied, so you don't have to see that reboot. But as you can see, I'm already getting into Netflix. I could've done it a lot quicker if I was paying attention to when it finished the booting there, so I'm talking. But I would say definitely a good device. If you have an HD TV somewhere in the house that's not 4K, just a TV that maybe the kids use, or it's just in a junk part of the house, I would say, yeah, give this a try. See if it um, meets what you want. Uh, I, I'm pretty happy with it. I would say this is also a great travel device. Uh, Roku sticks are definitely probably a better travel device, but for $29.99, Take this on the road with you if it gets busted or damaged in shipping or in travels, I wouldn't be all that concerned versus maybe trying to travel with a $200 high-end Apple TV, for example, or a $100 Roku Ultra. So two thumbs up, um, comparable performance to the 2018 model. If you have the 2018 model, I would say there's really nothing here to make you wanna go and upgrade. But if you're picking between the 2018 and the 2019, honestly, I would get the cheapest version available. Um, but the slightly lower power consumption is nice. It will um, hopefully lower your power bills, but the, the power draw is a very minor difference, but maybe over the lifetime of the device, you'll notice some savings on the cost of the device. I do like the ability though, to plug it into the TV's USB port and power it there without having to worry about, oh, well, I get that message of insufficient power, for example. So Roku, two thumbs up, very powerful, budget streaming for the price. Of course though, remember, you're paying $29.99, not $100, not $200. So you can't exactly expect this to hold up to a $200 version. Now Roku does have um, streaming players that are much higher end than this if you're looking for that, that offer 4K, HDR streaming, etc. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below, I'll do my best to answer them but I was impressed with the Roku Express 2019, and I'll have a link to it on Amazon for available for pre-order right now in the show notes down below. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it helps us a lot.